All right guys, so welcome to my video. Uh, this is actually gonna be the first how-to video I've ever done. Um, the What I'm gonna show you guys how to do is how to create these right here. Now, what those are are magnetic strips. Um, I use them for uh, my baseball board that I hang up in, the, in our dugout. Um, it's something that is extremely useful that I get a lot of, that I, I get a lot of use out of, um, and I know some other people have, have have shown interest in it and asked how you know how to get them. Um, to get it perfectly like this, again, I'll show you to get it looking like that. Um, it took a lot of trial and error to find the right uh, the right font that would fit perfectly and to do all the extras to make it fit on here exactly how I how I how I like it. Um, so what I'm gonna do for you guys is take out all that extra time that I had to spend and show you exactly what works and show you how to do it. So what you're gonna need to start out with, you're going to need some scotch tape, the transparent kind. Um, you're gonna need a pair of scissors. And you're going to need the magnetic strips that you can buy on Amazon. I forget the actual price. I want to say it's like five, six bucks or something like that. It's, it's really cheap and they're, they're really worth it. Um, when you purchase them, you will get three strips of five pieces each. So 15 total pieces on here. That's what they look like when you break out, when you break them off the strip. And then you will also get a uh, sample sample insert page now these these samples will fit perfectly into these strips the problem is um, getting the words that you want on top on top of these excuse me um, to do it straight on here I guess you could just write directly on there with a pen or a marker or even a pencil um, me personally, I like I like it to look very professional. I like it to look like I bought these somewhere, um, instead of me just making it. You know, I don't. I, it just looks it looks a lot nicer, a lot a lot neater when it's actually printed onto the paper. Um, so I've never used. Um, there you can see it. I've never used the sample, the uh, sample insert page. Um, I did use it to help uh, as a guide for what I what exactly I did want. Um, instead, the other thing that you will need is Excel, and I'll be showing you exactly how to format your Excel spreadsheet so that you can print off a million of these to make them fit exactly how you want. And you get new kids, new season. It'll be quick and easy to be able to print out new names and just slide them right in there, make new ones, and you'll be good to go. So, um, we will start now with the Excel, por uh, Excel portion. All right, so starting with Excel, you're gonna go ahead and open up a uh, blank sheet. Um, we are going to highlight and highlight the entire page here. So by left clicking over here on the top column in the top corner box right here, um, that will highlight the whole page. We're going to make changes to the entire page, um, not just individual cells. Um, all right. So after that, um, next we're going to change the font. The font we're going to use is Franklin Gothic Deming. Again, this is this is the one I picked after a whole lot of trial and error. Um, you're free to use a different a different font, but with a different font comes uh, different font sizes that you're going to have to try to find to make it fit onto the uh, onto the magnet uh, perfectly. So, like I said, these are things that I've already gone through and tried. If you don't like this font, oh, get your focus here. If you don't like this font, that that's fine. But again, you'll have to go through a lot of the you'll have to go through a lot of the extra time that I'm trying to get rid of for you. 
Um, so Franklin Gothic Demi and the font size is going to be 18 and we're gonna bold that and then we're also going to go over here and we're going to center the entire word so everything you type we're going to use both of these um, this will these, these two will center it vertically and horizontally so it'll be dead center no matter what you type on there the word will be dead center inside the cell alright next we are going to change the row height so we're going to right click on here over here on the side and we're going to change row height and the row height is going to be 30 okay next we're going to change the row width so we're going to right click up here up here at the top and go around the column width and we're going to change the width to 18. Boom. And now we have ourselves. Oh, wait, hold on. There is one other thing to do. Um, and highlight. We're going to change the whole page again. And uh, we're going to format the cells. Go here. We're going to go to format cells. And we're going to add borders in here. So go to border tab, click on outline, click on inside, and what we are doing here is we are we are creating um, horizontal cool uh, horizontal horizontal and vertical uh, lines that will go through the entire the entire sheet. So it would so when you print them out, they'll actually have lines like that up and down. Again, that's so you can see where you're supposed to cut. All right, so now we are completely formatted ourselves. We can type in we can type in words into any one of these cells now, and it will fit exactly how we want for our magnet. Um, so I have a new kid on my team, and I need to I need to uh, make two magnets for him, one for defense uh, and uh, also one for the batting order. So I'll go ahead and type his name in here. Use both of them. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And from there, I'm only doing two. I know it's kind of wasting a whole, whole sheet of paper, but um, yeah, I'm only doing, I'm only, I'm only doing two magnets today. So, go to print. All right, so I got my printer turned on. Um, printing out the names, and as you can see here, even though we uh, put the borders in the uh, vertical and horizontal borders in for the entire sheet it only fill it only it only fills up um, lines for the cells that you fill in so you're not I mean you've still got a whole entire paper here that you can use for whatever so it's not just gonna fill up the whole paper with a whole bunch of lines it's only gonna it's only gonna it's only gonna do it for the uh, the ones that you fill out right there as you can see alright so now that we got that done, we can go ahead and get started with putting this together. So first you're going to, uh, to cut these out. Again, just cutting along the black line. got 
my two inserts here. Boom. And they should fit right into my little magnet strips. Now, if they are a little hard to get in there, like these do seem to seem to be, just trim it down slightly. Again, we've put border width in there for you to see where they cut, but those uh, those lines actually do have a width to them, so. You cutting on either side could make one one insert a little a little uh, a little wider, or yeah, I guess that would be the width a little wider than other ones. So if it doesn't fit in there perfectly, just go ahead and trim down one side. Well, there you go. And let's do the same with this one since we had a little bit of problem with this one also. Just a little bit. You don't want to trim it down too far because then it won't fit. It won't be centered in there quite well. And you'll be disappointed with your final product. So just trim it down slightly and it should fit in there. And there we go. Alright. There you go. Now, technically these are done, but if you're going to be using these, if you're going to be using these in real world applications, um, out on a baseball field or a softball field, whatever, um, you're going to want some protection. This is not going to last. Just a piece of paper sitting right there is not going to last. You're going to have kids touching it and it'll, it'll fall right apart. So that's where the... Uh, scotch tape comes in the hand. So, what we're going to do next and take a piece of scotch tape. It's good. It needs to be longer. Don't worry about how long it is as long as it's longer than the uh, than the length of the magnet. I'm going to take both ends and you want to center you want to come down, we're going to put this tape over top of this, it's going to be the protective barrier. You want to center it over top of the uh, magnet and go and slowly go down. Um, also, I want to add, when you take the scotch tape off, try not to touch the portion that you're going to have over top of the magnet. And the reason being is you got, you got little oil, everybody's got little oil deposits on your fingers. Um, what you're going to leave behind because this is uh, transparent, completely see-through. If you touch anywhere on that tape, it's going to leave your fingerprint. And um, it may not seem like much, but when you put it down onto the magnet, your fingerprint is going to be very visible. So um, try not to touch the center that you're going to have uh, over top of the magnet so you don't leave your fingerprint on there. All right, so we're going to go over top. And we're going to center it over top of the magnet. Boom. There we go. So we are now over top of the magnet. Now from here, what you're going to do is take your nail and we're going to push down um, into the corners. So on the magnets, they the ends kind of sit up. So that uh, so that I can hold the uh, the insert in there, we want to push down this tape so it's directly down onto the paper, the insert, and then goes up the side of the magnet. So we're gonna press down on there, get down there, and get that nice and smooth. Boom. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Press down on there. And when you do that, the ends of the tape will actually go up into the air. 
that's that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's actually how you want it to be. That way you can get it completely covering the inside of the magnet. There. Now, once you got that, once you got that nice and smooth on top of the insert, then we're gonna press down on the sides of the magnet. Get rid of all those air bubbles. Now, once you got that on there, and that, I mean, that look, that should look really smooth. No ends hanging up on the sides to get to, uh, to get hung up on. Because um, if you leave anything not directly, if you leave any part of the tape not directly down on the magnet, um, what that's going to, what that's going to do is it's going to, um, while you're using it, it's going to start to come off and it's going to start to fray and you're going to get dirt under there to the point where it's going to start to come apart. So you want to make sure you have that really sealed down on there good. All the air bubbles out of it. And then we're going to trim off the sides. And you want to try to get as close to the magnet to the point that it's, it's, it's alright if you even end up cutting a little piece of the magnet off that's perfectly fine that's how you know that you got it really trimmed down really well and we'll do the other side again you want this trimmed down completely you don't want any anything hanging off of the side off of the sides because again um, as you're using it, those are things that are going to stick to people's hands. It's going to get dirt on it, and and anything that any kind of edges that are hanging off are going to are going to eventually start to peel the uh, tape away. So you want to get that as close as possible. Like I said, it's fine if you even um, if you even cut off part of the magnet. If you can see right there on the tape. Mm. Come in view, but you can see um, I've got some of the magnet that I actually actually cut off of there, and that's fine. That's how, that, that's actually good because you know you've got as close as possible. You've really trimmed it down completely. Um, this side, I think I need to do a little bit better. I got some paper hanging off of the edge, so I'm just gonna go here. There you go. Not sure how well you can see that, but I mean that that is very professional looking. Um and it's gonna last. It's durable. Um I've got some names on my board that have been on there for going on like two years now. So that's we play in the spring and the fall, and I've got six, seven, eight year old kids. So they're constantly touching it, throwing them around. They're they're falling onto the ground in the dirt, and they've lasted me two years now. So this this is very durable. It will last you um, as long as you need them. And then we just repeat the same thing with your with the other inserts or all the all the other inserts that you got. Do that same procedure, and that is it. So here's my final product in use right here. As you can see, you got the magnets over here. Got them for defense. Um, got them for the batting order. And these simply come. I mean, move them wherever you need to. Swap them out every inning or every other inning, whatever you're doing. I mean, it's it's really simple. And these are these are these are fairly strong they do stay on there you have I mean they're not just gonna they're not just gonna fall right off you I mean you really do have to do so you have to hit them with your own hand to really to really get those off of there um, so if you have little kids in your dugout um, this will this is this is a good option for that um, 
yeah, so that's it. I hope that was helpful. And, uh, hope this, hope this saves you some time. Like I said, I spent a lot of time on, I spent a lot of trial and error time on this. And I was hoping to help other people out so that they don't. Um, there you go. Thank you. Thank you for watching.